right, good afternoon. There she went. She is heading into MCO to get on a plane to Chicago for the, till Tuesday. So it's just us. Let's go have some fun. Tonight's solo adventure begins uh, at my favorite resort. Even though it's not nighttime, the pianist is already out. So I'm gonna hang out here for a little bit. Got a cup of joe. Um, it's hot out, and by the way, fast passes look. Uh, it looks busy at the Magic Kingdom. It is a Saturday, and it's getting maybe peak your season. But actually, my phone's internet is terrible, so Sarah is actually at MCO way early, past security already, and she's checking fast passes on her app for me, even though I'm over here. what kind of trouble I can get into. I'm gonna head on over to the Magic Kingdom now. Let's see how these crowds really are. Um, I'm in M Mouse Mercantile on the second floor right next to the monorail. Look at this costume that I've never seen before. Oh, $65 right next to the Cinderella. Ooh. Ooh. I always forget how, how like unique this gift shop is. Oh. Okay, so fancy jewelries, watches, need one of those. Look at that. Wow. Walton Mick. Walton Mick, good seeing you. So, I was trying to think, clearly at the Magic Kingdom, I was trying to think of the best way for me to do this. Like, should I do rides, should I do shows? Should I just people watch all night? Like, what should I do? Some rides are gonna be more exciting to do alone. Some of them are gonna be a little more, more awkward. Either way, I decided this is going to be utterly and ridiculous and I'm going to I try to achieve as much as humanly possible by myself between now and 11 p.m. First stop of the day is none other than the infamous Jungle Cruise. I got a fast pass for this one, but it looks like 70 minutes standby. I gotta say, Skipper Emily had it going on. She, I've never heard so many jokes, excuse me, so many jokes in a single Jungle Cruise. She pulled out every, she didn't stop, not even once. Um, I, she added one one that I loved, and it's the high biscuits, low biscuits one. She called one with the one with the thick bark, the dog biscuits. Oh, and you know how I hate waiting in the in the outside rooms. Literally showed up at the perfect time. This is about to get interrupted, and they're about to let us in. Oh, what is this scenery? <laughs> Crowded day here in the Magic Kingdom. That was a good break from like the line of um, Jungle Cruise. I'm gonna run over to Adventure, like further into Adventure Line to see what Pirates is. Don't think it's gonna be too successful. So I might backtrack and enjoy Frontierland some. Country Bear Jamborees in like eight minutes, so I came shopping. Look at this magic band. It's purple. I'm okay with that because it's got his autograph. And then Walt and Tink. Oh, oh man. All right, I guess I can wait four minutes in a room. Four minutes till the next show, and it's looking like a packed house. I have not been this packed of a, a country band jamboree in a long time. Sarah, I wish you were here because this is like I hope this is a good crowd. What do you call um, a bear that has a D in algebra? Barely passing. Oh. So good. 
that crowd was on point. There was a bunch of little kids just like giggling, cackling the whole time. I was eating it up. Where am I going next? Where am I going? Fantasy land. Like I said, it is getting to be a Halloween season. All right, check number four. Oh, reliable. Oh, it's a win-win. Full crowd, so it's going to be a lot of fun for the show. And since we're this packed, I guarantee you, guarantee you, we're not waiting that long in this. And you all know how I feel about waiting for these shows. Casey Jr. He's about to blow. He's about to lose it. Go Casey. Go Casey. It's your birthday. Have a party. Blow out the candles with your water spot. Yeah. You would think I've been here before or something. Literally, it worked out perfectly. Um, the train pulled into Frontierland Station five minutes after my fast pass began for Splash Mountain. But the standby is, they've been brutal today. So sorry if anybody's out here. Ooh, 70 minutes for standby and it's eight o'clock at night. Just a humble crowd update. That's all standby. And fast pass is actually stopping right down here. Like this is, this is where we're at for standby, outside. So, a good one today in the Magic Kingdom. There we go, here we go, row one. Row one, I think by myself. They really don't do single rider for this ride. Yes, instant regret for front row. Instant regret. I have a bad, I have a bad feeling about this. Oh no, wow, oh. No! Get the targets, what happens? Ah! No! 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 Don't hit the targets! Don't hit the targets! Oh! Let me go! Let me go! No! straight to my face the entire way down. I've never experienced it like that. It was just straight force in my face. The little girl behind me is doing great. She was terrified the whole time, but loved it the second we did it. She did it. That was, it wasn't like super wet, even though contrary to what you see, it was just like very spray. All I'm saying is if you're having a classic Magic Kingdom night, no matter how busy, no matter how many fast passes are about to expire, even if it's for Space Mountain, you must walk through ye old Christmas shop because there's just nothing. Wait a minute. What is, what is this? This is, this is all the Christmas? This is the only Christmas. What? What? Who approved this? Oh, okay, 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 okay. It's only, First of all, super cute. Second of all, even cuter. Third of all, okay. Okay, it's still open on both sides. So, my minor meltdown, please take, uh, please don't hold that against me. Christmas store is still open. Just going through a little bit of a refurb and I have trapped myself in with these ropes. Right there. Enjoy our nighttime spectacular, happily ever after.
absolutely amazing. I didn't even realize, so I knew I was in like a great visual spot, but I did not realize I was like 15, 20 feet away from a massive speaker and it was great. 60 minutes standby for Peter Pan, but everyone's doing what I am doing. And this fast press line's about to get real long, real fast, because everybody who's in the window right now has been waiting for fireworks, like myself. So it's actually not too bad for this, because they don't even have it in this queue. It's all just going straight on. It's me. probably know this by now but I'm very I'm a very um what's the proper word that's accurate and not too offensive to myself um thirsty I'm a very thirsty person I just had a realization because my phone has one percent battery it's basically gonna die any moment so I can't and with the internet on it being terrible there's no way I'm getting a fast pass because that was my third so I can get additional so I had the realization since I'm going to Tomorrowland for the rest of the evening, I might as well try to hit up the Fast Pass Kia. All right, let's push our luck. What do we got, what do we got, what do we got? Come on, come on, come on. So great, you're eligible for one. There's no private confidential information. New Fast Pass for Peter. Continue with one guest. Sorry, I've got no friends tonight. Nine from Barnstormer, I'm close. Dumbo Small World. I would go with any of those. I was actually going to try to go on... Oh, there's a Pirates of the Caribbean? Oh, yes. Yes, we're closing the night with Pirates. Oh, yeah. 10.05 to 11. Oh, yes. One of my absolute favorite attractions. Walt Disney's Carousel Progress, a living piece of history here at Walt Disney World. That was the first time in probably seven or eight or even nine months that I've watched Carousel Progress without falling asleep at all. I watched every scene, every room, every noise, every word. So, God, I love that. Welcome aboard the Tomorrowland Transit Authority Vehicle Movement. Your quiet and carefree highway in the sky. Welcome aboard the Tomorrowland Transit Authority Vehicle Movement. We invite you to sit back, relax, and enjoy your Grand Circle Tour of Tomorrowland. Oh. First Space Mountain. Oh my gosh, get ready. Get ready. What? That is nuts. I've never seen it in person with the lights on like this. I've seen this track on like these lights, but not, not the actual ride. Oh man, look how terrifying that is. It's my favorite ride in all of Disney World, and I like it even more after seeing it with the lights on. I got overzealous. I thought with all the magic of seeing Space Mountain with the lights on, that I'd walk through Fantasyland to see if I could get on Winnie the Pooh standby, but it's, it's 30 minutes, and I'd rather do Pirates with the Fast Pass. I did not honestly think I'd be beginning and ending the night in Adventureland. I also did not think, coming tonight, that I would have done 11 things, including a fireworks show and three e-tickets. Three e-tickets. Wanker now, you slummies. What may I offer for these hearty heads? I'll tell you what, last time I did that much time in the Magic Kingdom alone was October 1st, 2011. So our college program was waiting, I thought they'd do special 40th anniversary wishes. Um, started in the morning with all of our friends, but slowly everybody had to go to work at the Magic Kingdom. So then by the end of the night, I was left alone, so I stayed 
and spent like maybe three hours by myself before the fireworks and they were just normal wishes so that was fine but today I did about six hours in the park by myself accomplished 11 things and that's inclusive of almost an entire hour devoted to happily ever after so like i did not think that i'd get anywhere near that i almost didn't come out tonight unless we went back home to eve and just hang out with her and sleep all day because i'm sure that's what she did um I'm glad i came out though I'm glad i was able to bring you all with me and uh now time for the trek home I'm in. look we're home She's busy chewing her paw. Um, but thanks everybody for joining us for the live stream today. Thanks for all of your well wishes and Sarah's safe travel. She made it home safe. Um, and just thanks overall for being for being our pals. But I'm exhausted. We got up early and I had quite the night. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>